Hello. It's been a while since I've made a video update. Um, Delena Bodmer here, Gina Renee Hall's sister. I thought it might be time to share some relevant information and show you for your own eyes what we have been doing. I will go back to August the 12th, 2020. By the way, this is Jack. It was the day that Dr. Vass and I met the current owner of my sister's murderer, Stephen Epperly's former residence. We needed to complete something that we had began months before that. In November 2019, the doctor and I scanned the entire region for my sister, following through on every lead that ever came in, and following a familial organic match, my mother, to Gina, and determined various locations. What became of most interest was determining the relevance of these locations to my sister's murderer and their significance. As a result of that day, the doctor and I thought it might be good to try other victims, just in case. So, I recollected back to 2016 when I had been given information about a young girl named Angela Rader. A 1977 missing 14 year old from Roanoke area. So I went to visit Angela's brother and introduced myself and explained what the doctor and I had been doing and basically we decided what could it hurt? No one else had helped him. He even said that it was determined or, or she was labeled as a runaway. So the doctor and I then followed the same process for Angela and surprisingly, we got three different hits, as we would call them, positive signals. And the most surprising of these three would be a positive signal from inside the Epperly home place, the exact corner of the house. So then the signal was followed to a specific location in the floor of Epperly's bedroom closet. So to follow is the video of that hot August day. The day that we found a particular kind of flies, hundreds of them, and human bone fragments in the subfloor of my sister's murderer's bedroom. An unveiling and an instrument that is a world changing instrument and is to be respected.
for what it can do. So I won't say enjoy what's to come, but do watch it and see for yourself with your own eyes and determine what transpired that day. How exactly did we know where to cut that hole? Angela. I mean, it's, it's almost beyond belief how many flies are there. I mean, I mean there's, in every nook and glass, how can I do this for you? Um, the best way is to, let me find one that's a little obvious for you. Everywhere, I mean, just literally everywhere. There's something right there, for instance. See, those are, that's fly debris right there. Okay, it's got the line over it and it won't, there we go. Oh, yeah, I see it, yeah. Um, but the flies everywhere. Hunter, there's one. I don't see any worms, but. I mean, if you look carefully, it's in every crevice. I mean, there's, there's fly wings everywhere. Is it Literally a hundred of them. Would they yeah. have DNA in them? No, the from... larvae would. You see, the larvae mature into flies. I mean, that, that to me is, that is says amazing. Something. That, that to me is amazing. Okay, so I mean, that, that, maybe there's something we can collect. Yeah. Think you just put fingers there and the larva in the fingers turned into the flies? Or? Oh yeah, that's, I mean, the full eggs. Okay. You see, and the flies lay the eggs, the eggs turn the larvae. The larvae eat the tissue up, and then, the, then they look for a place to uh, pupate and migrate. So would they come in with the finger, like yes, immediately? Yeah. Well, or the, no, well, not necessarily. I mean, they okay. can, they can. Um, um, if it was finger, I mean, I, don't I mean, know. literally, flies will find uh, victims within minutes of death. Okay. So, I mean, these could be. I'm trying to find a good one. The fragments everywhere. But, I think it's wood, but I'm going to put it over here just to be on the safe side. I'm trying to find, I think I'm trying to find not just fly wings and abdomen, but there's got to be an intact one here somewhere. I can send it to the entomologist. That's interesting, there's a, there's a square hole cut down. That's what I noticed. I was like, how did that hole get there? Which is why I wonder if... I wonder if the bone's down below that. I don't know. I mean, it's weird that it's a, um, like a perfectly square cut hole. Huh. It is. I see it. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask Scott if he thinks. It's not anywhere else. I know. I didn't. I looked on the other side. It's just right there. You know, I'm looking for a pupil casings. That's a good fly. <laughs> There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in that crevice alone. What are what is there? Flies. Flies. Yeah. Oh, eleven. I know I'm getting excited about the flies, but to me that's very significant. That's not that's not something that's just a random. And I am trying to find bone. I mean 
even if the sample has to be larger than what we're finding, eventually they'll be able to do it, right? What's that? Take those tiny, tiny fragments and figure it out. Yeah. So we'll always have them. Yeah, we need to save these for sure. And we're talking 40 some, 40, Angela went missing in 1977, 43 years. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's quite amazing that you've seen anything. The flies go all the way back. me. What could possibly cause that? There's no wire that weighing down there. Well, whatever. And you wouldn't have come up from the below because it's got the plath right there, mm -hmm. plaster on the plath. So that was plaster. That is the ceiling. Yeah, let me switch to oh my, my black light. Do you have black light? Maybe they cut it from below at some point before they put that drop ceiling glued it on. I and mean, you know, 40 years, and all sorts of things could happen. There's one piece right there. Oh, you see one? Uh-huh. Maybe. See right here? Right there? It is my opinion, and I do have to clarify opinion, that there is no reason for a murderer to have human bone and flesh-eating flies in his subfloor. No other reason except to call these girls victims of oh, Stephen Epperly an already proven killer. Hundreds of carcasses of flesh-eating flies. So maybe this report that was given to Rafford Police Department by a prison mate, a prison mate who Epperly bragged to about what he had done to Gina, and in that spell of bragging, his arrogant confidence coming through, he shared that he kept Gina's index finger. Is the black light helping, or do you need an extra black light? Because I have a little one that's not as strong. That's fine, just trying to get to it at all. So if you had an index finger decomposing, how strongly would it smell? Finger? Mm -hmm. Not much. Give us the mouse. I'm quite sure this is the material I was hitting. Ooh, there's something of interest.
I so hoped he'd put a metal box in there. <laughs> well, he might have at one time. Yeah. Um, I mean, between between when Gina went missing and by the time he got arrested, how much time was there? Oh, a lot. Yeah. So I mean, he could have done anything. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's what I'm worried about. I mean, he, he even he even got out of jail and knew he was going to trial, but he really never expected to go to jail. Yeah, so I mean, he could have had a box and he had moved the box and maybe these little things fell out or something. I mean, I, you know, it's hard to guess what happened 40 years ago. It really is. He knows. Yeah. All I know is that this is... Oh, God knows. Something, something happened here. This piece. Get to There's, um, Where? maybe, like three right there, or not. Uh, Can't tell if they're raised or just on the wood. Maybe that. Anything, but I'm not gonna sit. Come on, get off. <clears throat> and I hope that's one. That kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Sure that's does. a good size one. Yeah, it is. I'm happy with that one. <clears throat> okay, stand up for a second. I don't okay. know if you want to do this for a while. I will. Say that not only Angela's bone was retrieved. Her sample, Angela's samples, providing the positive signal that led us to that subfloor in Epperly's bedroom closet floor. Her sample led us to that exact place where we retrieved bone fragments from three other females, unidentified, for now. Hmm. But I will scan the entire state of Virginia until I learn who they are. Country, if it takes it. That's it. We know that some something decomposed there. No, it had to be, you know, it wasn't just a dead mouse or something. So. Right, and it might be enough that you, the report from the, what do you call it, epi, epi, entomologist. entomologist would help prove. Yep. You know, like, why do you have those flies in your floor, Mr. Epperly? It's still getting positive. Yeah, well, there's tons of that stuff in there. Nothing on that side. But yes, on this side of the closet. Nothing. Yeah, it's on there. That brave and courageous Gina Renee Hall she led to Angela 
and Angela led to three other unidentified victims. Their lives matter. Thank you so much for always being Gina's voice and helping me to, to share her truth with others. She deserves that. She is the hero. I'll never forget that letter that smart young lady sent me. Her big sis, trying to keep her straight, she said, Love, it's never glad about injustice, but rejoices when truth wins out. She was quoting the Bible, 1 Corinthians 13, in her wisdom. And I share now, this is a season of the unveiling of many webs of lies.